Welcome one and all to Dave the Diver. My name is Deep Space Matt, and today I'll be exploring the sea and catching fish, then taking my haul to help run our restaurant serving only the freshest, most delectable sushi. With a cast of quirky and eccentric characters, how far will this test my poor voice acting ability? But more importantly, will this game trigger my thalassophobia? Let's find out in Dave the Diver. All right, here we go. New game. I am super excited for this. I have been anticipating this game, uh, the full release of this game for a while. I've been trying to find a place in the release schedule to put it, but I just have not. I've just not had the time. And but now today is the day, and uh, I'm a little, I'm a little bit nervous because I do have a bit of a fear of the open ocean. This is how I like to to interact with the ocean: just laying on the beach, relaxing hopefully not being attacked by crabs so this is yeah so i have a bit of the lassophobia and oh no don't don't answer it bro no it's never you're on vacation oh no what are you selling we don't want it we don't want oh okay it's sushi maybe we do want it yes we'll take some of that but uh i, I so i have not watched a whole lot of videos of this game because I, I tend to like to keep myself in the dark i like to be surprised at things when they happen but from what little i did see i don't think it's too bad i mean it's very bright it looks like you're in a coral reef and things like that it's really when we get into the deep dark that it starts it starts hitting me i mean it's why i don't play games like subnautica i don't i don't think i can handle that game i have seen enough of that game that i'm just like no that's a big no <laughs> so uh hopefully hopefully we're good here i mean if this if we if we start going like diving in the dark or something or going around down really deep i i do not know i don't know how i'm gonna handle it but this is a nice little screen i love the art on this the pixel art is amazing from what i've seen on this game it, just, it looks great i'm not gonna skip this all these lovely people they worked hard on this game this game has been getting great reviews they deserve all the credit uh for for everything in here i'm looking forward to this amazing but see the thing is like i i'm like scared of the ocean but i love i love everything about it almost i mean i love all the i love the variety all the sea creatures it's just it's very beautiful down there when i'm just not being afraid that something's going to come out of the dark and eat me everything is faster and more uh, accustomed to being in the ocean than we are and then that's the scary thing. Oh, here we go. Oh, Dave, uh, you got here quickly. Well, I was told to hurry here. I was on vacation, you know. So where's the sushi end? Haha, don't rush yourself. Have a look around. I, w I wasn't planning on doing voices for this, but I guess I'm in it now. Look at this giant blue hole. I've never seen anything like this. It's not just the size. Every time you enter the giant blue hole, the terrain and ecology changes, which means this could be an incredible business opportunity. What? kind of business well we can discuss that later i heard you took a break from diving how about warming up uh, i'll guide you from here go ahead and go on in hmm i don't have a good feeling about this a sushi bar by the blue hole uh yeah can we just go to this that's the bar back there right we just go to the bar right now i i do not <laughs> i'm not a voices guy so i apologize oh we gotta hold it down i apologize for the horrible horrible voices i'm probably about to do in here a clownfish it's nemo uh lives among sea and enemies oh that was i wanted to read all that like i said i love the fish and all the animals and learning about them all nice form ha 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 all right how about try stretching out a bit try moving to the marked area uh with shift you can move quickly remember that this speeds up oxygen consumption all right very nice yes okay this is see this isn't too bad it's nice and bright it gets a little iffy down there in the back good Looks like your skills are intact. Your moves are as nimble as a freshwater snail. Let's now practice using the weapon you'll need in contingencies, the dive knife. Try using the survival knife on small fish. You can use the, uh, the, the, the mouse key? Okay, the mouse key. Uh, ooh, come here, fish. I don't know if I can... You just swim away. How am I supposed to get close to you? Oh, well done. Smooth and quick. And finally, you haven't forgotten how to use the harpoon, have you? The harpoon well i haven't used one in a long time do you aim first and then hmm looks like you'll need some practice try using the harpoon to catch uh let's say three fish aim with uh, right and fire with left and you're trying out yourself 
All right, here we go. We got, uh, oh, oh, we got, oh, oh, <laughs> that is, oh, we got a pyramid butterfly fish. That was uh, awfully violent. <laughs> I mean, I've seen the videos, but when you're like, you're actually playing it yourself. Oh, we got a range here. We got to watch, and we got a height. It, <laughs> it's more violent than expected. Cardinal fish. We got a clown fish here. I'm sorry, Nemo. I'm sorry. I think you should get back. I think that should get you back on track in no time. All right, come back up to the boat. <laughs> all right i I'm, I'm i'm already digging this it looks amazing okay now that you got the hang of it let's get down to business dave you love sushi right for sure that soft fish meat with oily rice oh man that's just the best ah uh, well now listen up i have a friend who is a sushi chef who left the business for a while he has a bit of a sharp tongue and a slight temper but he has one skill that i can guarantee is unmatched in the world it is right here that I started a restaurant with my friend that sells one-of-a-kind sushi. The sushi sold here is made from fresh fish caught in the blue hole, where fish from all over the world can be found. Don't you think people will just go nuts for it? Yum, I'm already craving it. Ha, I bet. So, why don't you join in on this awesome venture as well? What do you say? I mean, I love eating, but uh, I don't know a thing about cooking. Nothing to worry about. The restaurant is all ready. All you need to do is dive to get the ingredients. Doesn't sound too bad, right? Uh, well, <laughs> I think I have to accept, right? Because uh, this just ends the game. Roll credits. Let's go. So I can eat as much sushi as I want? Yeah, sure. You have to pay, though. I uh, can't wait to check it out. The sushi restaurant next to the Blue Hole. It was supposed to open tonight, but I'm not sure if it's ready. Let's go have a chat at the restaurant. <laughs> Press uh, space of the arrow to go to the sushi bar. Uh, yes. Let us uh, rock there. Sushi is, I love sushi. I can eat sushi all day. Hey, Boncho, are we all ready to open? Uh, as you can see, it's ready just in time. Oh, it's already finished? You. Ah, you are the fisherman Cobra was talking about. Well, I'm more of a diver than a fisherman. All right. Anyway, it's nice to meet you. I'm Boncho. So, you like sushi? I sure do. Tuna belly, eel, sea urchin. Okay, so eel, eel is amazing. Uh, sea urchin, not so much. I do not touch sea urchin. Well, I mean, I've had it. I don't touch it anymore. <laughs> oh boy, just thinking about it makes my mouth water. Mmm, just as mediocre as expected. Sushi is a food that combines the soul of sea and land. It symbolizes Mother Nature herself. Most people, however, have only tasted more accessible fish, just like you. How empty a life is one that ends without ever tasting the beauty Mother Nature can offer. My calling is to bring the taste of Mother Nature to everyone. Oh, oh no, earthquake. This, uh, oh, this is bad. Is there a tsunami coming? Uh, everybody, get to high ground. That's not good for a restaurant opening. I don't think so. Oh, yeah. Well, this place was ready to go. And an earthquake. Hmm, the interior is really quite a mess. Yeah, it looks like we will have to delay the opening today. You know what? I spent all my money getting this restaurant ready. I'll have to recover the repair costs through doing business. In this state? Wah! In the end, the importance of a restaurant is the taste. First, we need ingredients. Did you bring anything? Well, I have something I just caught. Oh, that's the wrong voice. That's the wrong voice. I'm so sorry. Only three fish. That'll happen a lot, I'm sure. This won't be nearly enough to serve the guests. Please, go and catch seven more fish first. Oh, and uh, the restaurant is going to be open only in the evening. Hmm, won't that decrease sales? You think we should invite customers without adequate preparation just to make a little more money? It is a chef's duty to prepare the best possible food with meticulous precision just as a warrior sharpens his sword on a whetstone. You will need to get me the best quality ingredients during the day. Okay. Oh, okay. Um... Oh, okay. We're we're going back. We're gonna fish. We're gonna harpoon in the face seven more fish. It seems Boncho is really passionate about his work. He may not talk about person. He may not talk about personal stuff, but this guy can talk about sushi all night, huh? I haven't seen Boncho so enthusiastic since the incident. It's nice to see him like this. Oh, what was the incident? The incident? Oops. Maybe I shouldn't have brought that up. Well, anyway, we need more ingredients. So go catch seven fish first. Uh, all right, we got that. Uh, oh, we get gold to repair Bancho Sushi. We are in the negative gold. How do we get in the negative gold? We didn't even buy any sushi. We were on vacation. Uh, oh, a red lionfish, poisonous spines. Yeah, those things are, those things are dangerous. Uh, where? Oh, there we are. Okay. I was like, where do we go? All right, so let's catch. Uh, what is this? I want. I want to find out what all these fish are. Uh, a rainbow rest. Do we have like a... Oh, we do somewhere. Where's... Maybe... No. 
Return to the boat. No. Settings. No. Uh, do we have like a uh, encyclopedia of everything we've caught? All right. I don't know. I don't think I've caught you. What are you? Black spot sea bream. Uh, this is, are these like little dory fish? Oh, oh. And fire. Okay. No. And fire. Uh, yeah, blue tang. That's, that's dory. I'm, I am sorry, dory. You won't remember it anyway. <laughs> uh, okay, we got a cardinal fish. How many fish? I could do this. Oh, this is fine. I can do this. Oh, look, there's like an angel fish or something over here. You, you, come here. What are you? A bat fish. Bat fish. Orbicular bat fish. How far down can we go? We have plenty of oxygen. Uh, okay, is there anything different? Oh, oh, look at this. <gasps> do you count? Little like jellyfish? Can I catch you? Oh, you just bounce right off. Okay, we are not. I mean, we're doing damage. Can I... How much health do you have? I don't think this is working. I think we need certainly some kind of upgrade. All right, we're just going to catch the... F well, we're going to attempt to catch the fish we got here. Wait, this thing, this kelp is like glowing. I cannot... I cannot hit that. There you go. Now I just need you to come a little bit higher. Uh, what? Why is this glowing? What does this do? Oh, we got ingredients. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, that was bad. Where's my health? I don't even know where my health is. Uh, pick it up. Pick it up. Kajime? Kajime? Some kind of some kind of seaweed. Okay, we got different ingredients. I'm gonna come up here, grab one of you. If I can if I can aim and there we go. That should be number seven. We can go back up. Do I just swim back up? Yeah, return to the boat. Alright, so we we have that. It is nighttime. Thankfully we are out. Oh I saw this shooting star, make a wish. All right, looks like looks like you caught quite a few. At this rate, we'll make boatloads of money in no time. Ha <laughs> ha. My my, would you look at the time? Well, we'll have to hurry up and get things ready. Why don't you head over to the sushi bar? Prepare the sushi ingredients. Oh, okay. We got the biggest fish was a blue tang. And uh, ooh, here's everything we got. I love it. And we got cooking ingredients. Rank two. Go to the fish tank, wrap up your day, and get things ready at Bancho Sushi. Sushi. By the way, you'll only be able to dive once in the morning and once in the afternoon. I do not want to dive at night. That is perfectly fine with me. Get the ingredients ready before the dinner hours start. Yeah, I, I'm glad we were out before it got dark and got super scary and down there in the water. You can visit the sushi bar during the... Okay. Uh, how are the preparations coming along? Hmm, I think they're mostly set. That's good. Here's to a great evening. Where do you think you're going? Didn't you hear from Cobra? You're to help me run the sushi bar from today onwards. What? I, I don't understand. Cobra told me that there would be somebody to help with all the ingredients and serving. He said all I needed to do is cook. And who else is there for that but you? Wait, I've never worked at a restaurant before. The guests will be here soon. I'll give you a quick primer, so pay attention. What? Open the ingredients below. Oh, okay, uh, ingredients. We have hot keys. I love it. Here you can check your fish, crops, sauces, and all the other materials you have. For now, that's all you need to know. Come back later for more information. Okay, sure, we'll close that. All right, now I'll show you how to register actual items to the menu. New recipes need to be added to the menu before they can be sold to customers. There's a sushi recipe for the fish you acquired earlier, so try registering that to the menu. Uh, register a dish to the menu. Okay, where add? And oh, lovely. Oh, that looks so sad when, when a little Nemo laying on there. And I know that's Dory over there. What is this? Oh, that's the batfish fry? Uh, cardinal fish? This all looks so lovely. But let's go with, let's go with the rainbow wrasse. That sounds good. We can enhance it too. Max, we can do four. Yeah, we're going to do max. We're going to sell as much as we can. All right. That probably wasn't that hard. Setting ingredients to auto supply will make things a bit more convenient. Let me repeat, only food on the menu can be sold. If you run out of ingredients, you have to replace items on the menu or refill the ingredients. You can also enhance the flavor of the dishes, so try it out when you have enough ingredients. Now, use the ingredients you caught to fill out the menu as much as you can. Okay, how do we, yeah, auto, auto supply sounds great. So I don't have to worry about that. Yes, we will auto supply that. Uh, there's a bunch of other options there. Okay, we are going to. <laughs> All right, let's put Nemo. Uh, let's put Nemo on the uh, the menu. We have enough for two. We're gonna auto supply. We can enhance. We have nothing to enhance. But what does this look like? Uh, we can level it up. Oh, that looks very nice. What do we ingredient ingredients used for enhancement will disappear? But we have no ingredients yet. We'll set to auto. 
because we'll be catching plenty more of this butterfly. Let's go with a sea bream. That sounds lovely with the auto. And one more. Uh, we will go cardinal pyramid bow. Let's go with the batfish for all the all the DC fans out there. Okay, uh, that is everything. We look good. How long are you going to stand there talking? Give me a cup of green tea to quench my thirst. <clears throat> Have you perhaps poured green tea before? Uh, no, only soft drinks, I think. Just, I'll tell you how. Oh, the wrong voice. I'll go, <laughs> I'll go over to Cobra. Pour some green tea. Pour the right amount. Sometimes customers will order drinks. Uh, S to pour tea just to the right amount. Okay, here we go. We got this. We got a little physics based stop, 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 stop. Is that good? Yes. Good enough. Good enough for government work. Customers who drank green tea of a good or higher grade will pay more. Wah, as expected, Boncho's green tea is quite something. Hmm, that tea really got my appetite going. Is there uh, something to eat, perhaps? Demanding as always. Why don't you try serving him some food while you're at it? Wait until the cooking is done. Okay, you're getting... Was, is that the sea bream there? So we're going to wait here. Can I run? I cannot run. Come over, to, come over to me. Come over to where I am and take this food. All right, you can dash when serving food. Okay, now I can run. I didn't have the ability before, but I just learned how to use my legs better. You shift to move quickly. Don't forget to watch your stamina. Where is my stamina? Uh, oh, it's on me. Okay, run, run, run. Look at me. I'm ah, working hard. Hello? You sent the package last week, you say. What in the world? Let me check on that. Oh, hey. Okay, can I eat? Can I eat the sushi now? Cobra didn't need me eat. He's always distracted like that. The food can't be reused, so we'll have to throw it out. Throw it out in my mouth. It seems like such a waste to throw it away. Okay, I'm going to pretend to throw it away and just like sneak it in my mouth, you know. Bancho Sushi never reuses food. We do not put food made for guests on the table twice. Well, uh, uh, all right. No. Perfectly good sushi. Everything looks about ready. Hmm, I haven't cooked for customers in a while. Kind of nervous. Don't forget to press E after filling the menu for business to begin. Customers will order dishes from the menu. Don't forget to register dishes to the menu before the sushi bar opens. Uh, I mean, we are right. We are we are all full up. Uh, we had to throw away uh, some lovely sushi. And okay, let's open. Everybody want to eat here and have some at dink low. All right, all right. So okay, you want some tea? I can. Let's get this. Let's get the tea. Let's go. Let's do this. Uh, and stop here. Stop here. Perfect. Excellent. Yeah, give, give me that money. You want tea too? I can do that. Oh no, you have sushi ready for you. I don't remember who came in first. I am sorry. What should I try? You should try everything. It is all amazing. Oh, I can run. I forgot. I should run. Yep, there we go. We have... Okay, we have this one ready. You know... Uh, oh no, way over here. Way over here. There we go. Very nice. Oh, this, this shows us like what we have available right here on this little board. That is amazing. What is this? Oh, I gotta clean it up. Oh, oh, I gotta. Uh, uh, how am I? How am I doing this? Oh, at the same time. I thought it was. I thought it was every other. Okay, we are. We're ready on food. You can you eat there. Uh, more food. You want some clownfish? We can. We okay. There we go. Very nice. Uh, you are ready here, and we are. We all sold out. We have one more available. I'm guessing you will. Oh, two more available. As long as you choose to order. Maybe do you want some tea? I, I, I'm salivating. I'm salivating too. I don't think I've even eaten all day. I dived and now I'm working at a sushi bar, running around using my stamina. I ain't got no food in me. I gotta throw away perfectly good food in my hand. There are no items on the menu. Yep, we we have completed everything. I am still. Am I still in the negative? Bancho sushi closed. All right, all right. At the, we did our best sales. Look at that. See, best sales ever. Today's score 5.0. Let's go. Profit 51. Yeah, so we are at negative 49. Didn't we get, uh, I guess we didn't get gold for, for repairing it. Phew, work's done. Uh, work's finally done for the day. My back and legs hurt. You were a bit clumsy, but not bad for a first day. Try a little harder next time. I suppose coming from you, that's a compliment. A man should not feel gratification from simple compliments. Yeah, okay, all right. In any case, a toast to the opening of Bancho Sushi. Ah, uh, yeah, you got some sake? That sounds good. It looked like he had a beer in his hand. Beer works as well. Okay, here's the delivery. And, oh, 
Watch out, watch out, debris, hello, pay attention. Did you have some sake on the way? Uh, you should not, oh. Oh no, this is bad. Oh, we're not gonna have to do, oh. Okay, I may regret, <laughs> I may regret playing this game. There are giant sea monsters. I hope, <laughs> uh, yeah, that's not good. That's not good at all. Uh, let's, let's, Saturday, on to Sunday. Can we just, like, take a break? It's the weekend. Calling Ellie. Hmm, are you the man who's been diving around here? Yeah, I think so. Tisk, I was expecting a more professional-looking guy. Uh, I can hear you, you know. In any case, can you do something for me? Shouldn't you tell me who you are first? I'm Ellie. I study biology at the local graduate school. I've come out to investigate after reports of anomalies in the area, like earthquakes. Satisfied? Okay, so what do you want? I'd like to study the ecology of this blue hole. Get me some agar and red starfish first. All right, I like the little screen. It tells you exactly what it is. I don't think it's a good idea to ask for just one of each. Get me two of each. Why am I... Your tone makes me want to refuse. Hmm, I've got a reward. There we go, that's why. But uh, if you don't want it, that's fine by me. Uh, a reward? Why well, wasn't refusing? Is it food I haven't eaten? I'm just saying, you could ask more nicely. In any case, please hurry. Don't dally. Oh, okay, everybody is so demanding. Where are we? Smartphone, you can... Uh, use your smartphone to access various types of content. Check your current missions and more. Okay, so... Uh, oh, there we go. Oh my, look at this. We can call. Oh, it is all interactable. This is amazing. Oh, album, fish album, no pictures. Oh, we're going to have a camera, mini games. We can, we can play games on our phone when we're supposed to be working. That is how it is, isn't it? <laughs> uh, music. Oh, oh, this is great. Look at this. And we have stuff that we're going to unlock later. Okay. To-do list. Yeah. Uh, ecological submission. We need two agar, two red starfish. So we have to, we haven't repaired it yet after the earthquake. All right, let's go diving. That's what we're here for. We're looking for agar and red starfish. Do we just pick up the starfish? Oh, a parrotfish. I knew what that was. I, I recognize that. Powerful beak-like mouth. These things, yeah, eat up coral. There. Ooh, this looks pretty. This, oh, this is, this is a nice game. I love this. Look at this. Oh, look, and they like, when you get close to them, they interact. Well, let's take all this. Ingredients. I don't know what we're going to use it for. But we're going to use it for something. Is there like an auto pickup? I would love like an auto pickup. There is... Oh, a sea urchin. Oh, oh, it hurts. I don't think sea urchins can be picked up with these gloves. Okay, we need to upgrade. There is a, is this a starfish. An orange. We don't need that. There's something. There's like a pot. There's an ink. There's a pot down here. Okay, we're going to... We need to clean up the ocean. There's something else here. Oh, this is so exciting. So many new things. Okay, what is this? Wood. Okay, yeah, that's fine. We'll just, oh, there's a moray eel. Oh, no. Um back back away can i not quite hey come here come here oh oh that was not good okay we need to be quick about this i uh, pick it up okay i think i can oh it's taking too long it's taking too long run away run away okay what was that turmeric we, we just found spices why why are you red oh you are you are like a parrot fish uh no ooh, get it get it oh no wait can i not get you do I need to click? Maybe I click when I do it? No. Okay, you are you are super aggressive, and this is not where I should be. But can I get away from you? Uh, let's go. Let's grab some of you. I can grab you, right? No. Okay, I am not... I need to level up. And, oh, there's a treasure chest. There are so many things that are distracting. I wonder, do I need to... Let's get... No, let's not get you. Let's get you. And let's get some of this. I mean, we need to we need enough ingredients. Oh, oh, space, 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 space. I'm not messing with that giant parrotfish down there. That looks not good for me. Out of range. I would love to increase my range. Oh, can I pack like, space? If I press space, there we go, there we go, there we go. That's what I need. Yes, Mediterranean parrotfish. Very nice. Okay, okay, sometimes that, that pops up, and sometimes it just gets away. Here we go, here we go. I love, okay, so this game is like an entire fishing mini game. I love fishing mini games. Ooh, you just bounced right off. 
What are you made of? Oh, a puffer fish. How? How come you are so strong? You're made of something else. Okay, we're going to grab some more of these. There we go. I'm going to just preemptively press space. Very nice. We're going... Oh, no, we're not doing that. Oh, running out of air. Running out of air. Excuse me, uh, Mr. Pufferfish. I'm not, I'm not messing with you. Uh, we did not find anything that we were looking for. At all. I don't know how much fish we've caught. Maybe I can, I can, I can get another one of these. I think I'm, I'm, I'm watching the air really closely. I don't know if we can dive back down or if once we, once we go down, it's like one run. Per tre oh, treasure chest. Let me open this. Yes. Give this to me. A bat? We have a baseball bat? <laughs> can I like, can I like, oh, that's a pause. Can I get my menu here? Can I equip it? Oh, look. Oh, we can't. Oh, we're, we, we're swinging for the fences now, boys. <laughs> All right, let's sir, let's return to the boat. We have traded our knife in for just a, an aluminum bat. All right, dive log. What do we got here? Okay. And you know, we caught lots of fish. And we got some turmeric. Uh, maybe we can enhance something with that. Go to the fish tank. Uh, yes. Oh. Dave, did you get to loosen up all... Uh, yesterday. Mm. Hmm. I saw a lot of nasty fish. It won't be easy to go any deeper. Hmm. I did notice that the fish in the blue hole have an unviolent streak. Perhaps something puts them on edge. Speaking of which, why don't you also take a gun in addition to the harpoon? A gun? Wait a minute. A g that's what I just said. <laughs> I have a friend who's knowledgeable about guns. I'll introduce you to him. Okay, calling Duff. Wow. Wow. I don't know why, what voice in Wow, Cobra. It's been a while. Who is this goofy looking guy next to you? That is an awful voice. Sorry, what was it? that wasn't the nicest thing to say to a stranger. I'm Dave, a professional diver. Interesting. I thought divers were athletic and muscular. You seem to defy my prior knowledge. Uh, people who live in glass houses. So, what's this about? I'd like to get uh, I'd like you to get straight to the point. I've begun a very interesting business. <laughs> and now I'm in need of some weapons. Duff, I need your help. Hmm. Season two of Strastrella just ended anyway. I'll give you a listen. All right, I actually discovered a fascinating, fascinating giant blue hole. The terrain and ecology inside it changes every time you go inside. Oddly, any equipment found inside breaks down when brought out. I'd like you to make a weapon. Uh, make us a weapon that can be used inside. Hmm, that is rather interesting. You piqued my interest as a weapons researcher, you could say. My hypothesis is that anything that's not made from materials found in the blue hole will continue to break down. This will be especially true of guns, which have precision parts. Hmm, so we'll have to get the materials from the sea ourselves. Dave, you'll have to prove yourself as a diver to this master duff. I'm not sure why I should have to prove myself to you. Just tell me what you need. Uh, since it appears that you have no guns at all, let's start with something easy. I think I'll need one rope and one scrap iron. You heard him right, Dave. Enter the blue hole and bring back rope and scrap iron. By the way, if you run out of oxygen midway, you'll only be able to make it back with one item. Always keep that in mind. Okay. Okay, so we can, we can go back down. Nice. We, oh yeah, because we're in the afternoon, so we can do it in the morning, and we can go dive in the afternoon. So we have two two diving opportunities. So we still need, oh, barrel jellyfish. The pixel art is amazing. And the little animation on that, they did so good with this game. There's the red starfish. Let's go. That's one. One of four. Yes. Oh, and it's got a nice little thing. Is this what we need here, too? We're going to take that. This That almost looks like it. There's a piece of wood. Uh, we were back to our knife. How do I switch to, how do I switch to the bat? Where did the bat go? Let's pick up some ingredients, ingredients so we can make some more money as well. Don't forget to catch fish. I guess we're going, we're going this way. Oh, there's another one. Let's go. Let's, okay. You can, you can stay away. Can I hit you? No, I can't hit you. Oh, they're here. What is this? This is, yeah, rope. And we need rope and iron, right? Scrap iron. Uh, let's go this way. That is not what we need. It's not highlighted. Oh, I ran right into that. I was too busy trying to see what this is. Oh, oh, is it like oxygen refill? Do we need that? We don't need that right now. I think it's an oxygen refill. So we're good. So I'm going to sprint a little to uh, get down here faster and then we can probably refill. There we go. There we go. Scrap iron. And now we need two agar. I haven't seen any agar. Never mind, I lied. There's tons of agar down here. 
it is all amazing oh we need to 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 shiv it first all right pick all this up oh what is this what is that i want to see that too there there is so much in this game do i have enough oxygen i believe i do okay let's get this we can oh no you are by okay um escape pod okay we don't we're doing okay because there is i think we can make it to that oxygen refill or at the very least we can make it all the way back up yeah we're doing we're doing okay I don't want to. I want to lose all my items after you just warned me. Yes, get me this. How much does it refill? The whole thing. Let's go. Amazing. I don't know what you wiggly things are. Are you shrimp? You you look. Oh, you look like you're hard to catch. Is what you. Oh, can I not? I am I just that bad at aiming? This is very possible. Right there. Oh, I can just not get you. You you just go right straight through. I think we need something else to catch let's grab this and you just run away so fast ah got you got you okay we uh, yes just keep getting more ingredients exploring we got some more fish over here we got a little we got you you're the bat fish yeah bat fish and you are i don't do we have we gotten you before oh the sea bream and the blue tang how much can we hold? Is there like a limit? I want this. Treasure, treasure, yes. Scrap iron, even more. Oh, are we full? Oh no, we're not full. Wait, a toy hammer. <laughs> oh, can't, it just can't, it squeaks, it squeaks. Oh, I wanna, I wanna squeak something. Come here, let me. That is great. Oh, there's a seahorse. Okay, can we catch, we couldn't catch the shrimp. We can't catch the seahorse either. We can catch the blue tangs all day. And sea breams. Oh, you bounced. I, just, I lied. That was a lie. We can catch all day. And then I just, I failed at that. Okay, yeah, come back this way. Come back this way. I got oxygen for days. Or at least the afternoon is what I have oxygen for. Oh, oh, we have, we're gonna make so much money. I'm gonna get my stamina just depleted all day long tonight. Okay, let's uh, let's move on this way. Are there other fish? I want to find some other fish. Oh, it is awfully, it is awfully like, it is awfully iffy back there. That does not look nice. I do not, I do not like looking at it. Oh, oh, oh. but if I can just, there we go. Oh, yellowback. I cannot pronounce that. Fusile, fusilier. If I can just focus on the fish in front of me and not pay attention to the background, uh, that would be great. That would be great. Okay, there's some parrotfish. I like you. Oh, there's a giant parrotfish. I do not like you. Oh, and you did not like me either. Oh, there's something shiny though. Silver bowl, a silver dish. It'll fetch a decent price. I should try selling it at the Cobra shop. Okay. Oh, there's a shark. That's like a, what's a, a white tip brief shark. No, uh, I have gone too far to the right. I should have stayed over in the left where it is nice and safe. Oh, it's a weight limit. He will slow down. If you exceed an even higher amount, you won't be able to carry any more. Okay, so, okay, there we go. Yeah, we are, we are weighted down. So I'm going to go up because I don't want to trust. I don't trust that I won't, I'll be able to make it back when I'm slower. Maybe if I can, can I catch up to this blue tang and get one more fish? There we go. All right, we're going to go back up. We have tons. We have tons of fish. I would like to know how we equip our different weapons. Because <laughs> I would like to use the toy hammer all day long. Well, to think you'd actually manage to bring it back. I expected you to quietly explore, expire in the depths, you could say. I am a, I'm a professional diver. I told you that. It seems I've underestimated you slightly. Very well. I'll show you how to make the basic underwater rifle <laughs> with these materials. First of all, download Duff's Weapon Shop on your phone. It's well optimized. Only 42 megabytes, you could say. Uh, you want me to? You want me to install an app? Of course you do. Uh, basic craft scrap iron and one rope. 15 damage, five range, eight magazine. The old model and not that powerful. Craft <laughs> flux energy. You collected all the materials. Good. Let's try and create a new weapon. You're oh, 
Oh, here we go. I'm in it. Yes. You got to put the power gloves on. You got to get those beats jumping. There we go. Feel it. Feel it. I don't even have time to use my hands and must use them remotely. Robots are <laughs> robots are the future. That was a great animation. New weapon, basic underwater rifle. Equip the weapon right away. Yes. Eh. With a neat explanation like that, even someone like you should have understood. Well, I guess. And one more thing. I've taken some measures to allow you to open weapon chests underwater. Wow, weapon chests? You can't bring them out of the sea, but they can still come in handy, you could say. Oh, but I'll collect info about the weapons you pick up and create blueprints for you. Weapons with a, made with a blueprint won't break down underwater, you could say. I, 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 you're the one saying. In any case, this master will be watching you. Good by eternity okay that's an interesting sign off new content weapon shop what is this we have some kind of triple axle you can craft weapons at Def's weapon shop acquire acquiring weapon as certain number of times will complete a blueprint making the weapon craftable go hunting with powerful weapons oh this is great okay ellie's calling i have i have your stuff hmm you actually brought them back i guess i expected too little of you all right this should do for now I'll give you a reward as promised, since you helped me do my research. The sudden ecological changes in this region will need to be studied further, so I'll continue to need your services. Add my number. We are we are we are a busy diver. Seventy gold, so we are in the positive now. Olive oil and soy sauce. Yes. That sounds amazing. Oh Dave, you collected a hundred gold. Great job. This should be enough to repair what's broken. Then give me some time. Those repairs need to be done right. I really hope the customers keep coming. I really hope I get to eat at some point. All right, caught yellowback. I still cannot pronounce that. Uh, let's go. Yes, let's go. Six, 12 blue tangs. Uh, yeah, you need my help. Wrap up your day and get things ready at Bancho Sushi. This is this is uh, this is great. I love the the gameplay loop on this. Diving and then uh, working at the sushi bar is super fun. Okay, no, let's not open. God, this this is dangerous. I saw that and I was about to immediately just press whatever the game told me to press. But we need a menu first. Okay, we have lots of blue tangs. So, okay, let's see what this enhance is. We can enhance with... Uh, what are we enhancing with? Ingredients used for enhancement will change. Or will, will disappear. I don't know what we're making disappear. Is it just like we're using a blue tang to enhance it? Oh, let's go. Yes, get that salt. There we go. Perfect. Oh, bring it, bring it. These animations are great. The cutscenes, enhance has been completed. Okay, we have we can enhance it again. Okay, I think uh, we're just gonna enhance it once and we're gonna stick our enhanced. Yes, go max. Maybe we don't want max. Is there a reason why? We, oh, because they get thrown away at the end of the night. Right, we lose, we lose it. Let's go eight, maybe? I don't know. Yeah, remaining menu items will be discarded as the restaurant closes. Okay, I don't know how many people we're gonna serve. So, okay, let's go here. We have lots of cardinal fish. Let's enhance it. Very nice. Uh, let's set out, you know what? Maybe we do six of each. Can I manage this? Auto supply. So what is now? I'm wondering what the auto supply does. If like we don't set enough, then it'll just bring more. Let's let's attempt that. Let's go with something that we have a fair amount of. Uh, we can enhance all this stuff. We'll go with this. We're gonna enhance it. Let's go. More money. I like it. And you know we're only gonna put we're gonna put one. Right. We can do a max of five. If, if the auto supply works how I think it is, we have one, but if somebody orders another, they'll just, it'll automatically put another one there. I could be wrong about that. Okay, let's grab the rainbow wrasse or the seabream. Seabream. We'll go the seabream. Uh, oh, wait, let's enhance just because we can. And let's go how how much can okay well, we, we can't enhance anymore oh and it took it it took it by half now we only have three we'll put three 
Okay, so we have we have what well, we have 14, 15, we have 17 available. Uh, hopefully we don't waste much. Let's take a look at our ingredients. Oh, we don't need it. Okay, well, we still have the agar. Did did she just not take it? Oh, we, we collected more. There was like four down there. That's right. Let's open. Let us open. Oh, I love that animation too. We can time skip. I don't want to time skip. I want, yes, customers. What do you want? You want some, some green tea? I can, I can do that. I am a master. I mean, I've only poured it twice, but oh no. Oh, that was perfect anyway. Very good. Uh, you want tea? Tea? No, nobody? Okay. We are serving up some food. We are running. I'm going to run all the way to the end of the bar to serve you. You came in first, so you get served first. And then here we go. You're the lovely, lovely person with the tea. We're, we're doing, we're doing great. We're hopping this. Uh, we need to clean this up. There we go. Uh, you want some tea? I will get right to you in a second. Yep. And stop, 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 stop. Yeah, very nice. Uh, what else? This seems nice. It is very good. I, I hardly approve of your order. I will get to your tea in a second. Go run, 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 run. And uh, pour it right around. Five for five. Let's go. Can we do it? Can we do it? Can we do it? We're there. That's it. We're there. Okay. I don't know how many we've served so far. Are we still open? No, we're at like the end of the day. I think we definitely wasted enough, but we're getting money. We're, get, we're getting that paper. Or, well, it's, it's like doubloons. Do I need to clean anything? No, we're done for the day. So we had 17 uh, sushi available and nice, best sales. How, how do I see, this was the top sale. How do I see uh, what, how many do we do? Cooking, others, tips, sales, net profit. This is our most, we got five though. So that's a thing. I would like to know, like, do we have to throw anything away at the end? I don't know if we, I don't, I'm pretty sure there were not 17 people that we served. And not at all. Oh, who is this? You're coming up fast. Hello. Uh, are you Dave by any chance? I don't know what voice you are yet. Yes. What is it, sir? You're, oh, you are an excitable. Wow. I'm always about these things. All right about these things. Huh. Nice to meet you. <laughs> oh. Dr. Bacon, I'm an archaeologist who studies the sea people civilization. The sea people civilization? Ah, I'll explain it to you. Aren't you lucky to have an expert like me to tell you about them? Um, maybe I shouldn't have asked. Oh, oh, look, whoa, they're like sea people. The sea people civilization lives in legends. They are said to have occupied, they are, I'm speaking way too fast. They worship the fish and had gills allowing them to live underwater. They lived in the depths, allowing them to flourish without any concern for invasions by other civilizations. But suddenly changes to the sea bottom brought about their abrupt downfall. That's about all there is to the story. Everyone thinks it's a myth and nothing more, of course, but proof that they were real was found right in the vicinity of this place. Huh? This is an amazing find, one that could turn the whole academic world upside down. An ancient civilization under the sea. You'd only see such things in comic books or games. What makes you so sure they're real? My assistant closely analyzed an artifact found nearby and found that it is from no known civilization. It's dated around 1500 years ago as well. There were no civilizations in these parts back then. Hmm, <clears throat> that is interesting, but what business do you have with me? Well, you see, my assistant cryptocurrency... <laughs> My assistant's cryptocurrency investments <laughs> didn't pan out, and he won't be around for a good while. This game is hilarious. That's why I'd like you to help me. Oh. My, everybody, everybody's, he was on vacation, and now he's got like 50 jobs. My assistant told me that the artifact was found 70 meters or so below the surface. Please, go take a look. Uh, we're busy at the sushi bar. I don't think we can... Haha, uh, sorry to interrupt the conversation. I'm Cobra. I work with Dave. Of course we should help you. Oh, we'll gladly do so. Yeah. What? We don't have time the time to swim around searching for artifacts. Think about it. If an underwater civilization is discovered, countless people will flock here. Bonzo Sushi will be bursting at the seams. 
Um, I suppose you have a point. All right, I'll help. Ha! Ah, isn't that lucky? Of course, I won't be asking you to work for free. I'll upgrade the diving suit you're wearing for free. Wow. With enhanced diving suit, you'll be able to venture deeper. This is essential for exploration. These days, even such things can be handled by an app. More apps. Technological advancements are amazing, eh? Let's first install the iDiver app on the phone before we proceed. I'm going to have so much bloatware on my phone, it is going to slow to a crawl. Like, I'm running out of space. The iDiver app allows you to enhance various diving equipment, upgrade equipment with the money you make at the sushi bar, and elsewhere and explore deeper waters. Maybe I don't want to explore deeper waters. It is scary in the deep. <laughs> now then, let me tell you how to use iDiver. I'll install the app for you. So unlock your phone first. Um, okay. Here we go. iDiver installed. Uh, diving suit. Limit 80 meters. Oh, we got cargo box. Oh, wait. That's a uh, weight air tank. Yes. Oh, wait. Hold on. I said, I want to, oh, no. Go back. I want to look. It won't let me. The tutorial takes me through. There was an upgrade to the harpoon gun, I think. You can dive deeper. Good. Now you'll be able to venture a bit deeper. Once you have enough money, use iDiver to enhance your equipment. You can enhance your suit as well as your cargo box and oxygen tank. Never forget that anything can happen in deep waters. That's what I'm afraid of. I'll be in touch. Uh, bye. Bye, Dr. Bacon. All right. Uh, chapter one. Oh, we made it through the prologue. Traces of the Sea People. Okay, this game was amazing. That's going to be about do it for this episode. If you enjoy the video, be sure to like and subscribe down below. Uh, if you want to see me continue, I will most likely make more videos of this game. I mean, I'm going to play the game anyway, but, uh, you know, comment below if you, you want to see more. This is so fun. This game is a lot funnier than I expected. <laughs> I like the humor. I like all the work they put in this game. It is it is a good time. Uh, we're not running the clock. Are we here? Okay, I was afraid I might have to like pause it like we're running out of daylight hours. It's going to wait until we dive for sure. But uh, it's doing great. So far, my uh, thalassophobia has been is, is not it's not it's not gearing up. It's, it's not bad. I expect it will get worse later, especially with that whatever that monster was. I, I did not like the look of the giant octopus that is going to rear its ugly uh, balloon head sometime. But uh, this has been Dave the Diver. I will talk to you next time. If you made it this far, thanks for watching.